Hair is a key styling element in fashion drawing. It can be thought of as an accessory. Hairstyles must be fashionable. Old-fashioned styles date the whole outfit. Hair has shape, style, texture, volume, scale, color. It offers another palette to include styling cues to complement and enhance and contrast with the garment. We all know what hair looks like, but drawing it properly is a different matter. The most important aspect is shape, the silhouette. The silhouette is the first design decision to be made and the first thing to be drawn. In this video, we're going to focus on drawing the hair. Just as we have to be able to draw the face well for it to look realistic and attractive, the same is true for the hair. It is important that hair is drawn to a high standard as it is so visible in a drawing as it is in real life. The hair sits on top of and around and behind the face. In fashion drawing, the face is slimmer and longer than the natural face, and so hair will reflect this slimmer, longer silhouette. When we begin to draw the hair, we start by drawing the outline. In order to do that, we're going to use a Prismacolor pencil. This pencil is uh, warm gray, 30%, and I'm going to use neutrals to start out with. I would often use even a lighter color. I am going to use a marker, which is an alcohol-based medium and dries very quickly and it's very useful to draw the and add color. I'm going to use a jelly pen, which you can get anywhere and is wonderful for adding highlights. And you can get jelly pens in a variety of colors. So we have a lot of tools to work with and we're going to start with the Prismacolor pencil. So let's begin with the head as a context for our hair. We're going to need to have the hair sit on the head. So I'm going to draw a hairline that runs across the forehead, which extends to the outside of the eyes. If we place an eye space in about thirds across, this just gives us a, a reference for our hairline. And it comes, we have to imagine that the hair extends down a short distance from the top of the skull when the head is facing directly front and staring directly at us. This is a common mistake. It's very easy to imagine that the hair extends into outer space and goes far above the natural skull. So when you make a part, it's going to look short. So we're going to draw the outline of the hair 